Silicon Valley. You're thinking of California, aren't you? But Ebru's Derek Dennis tells us New York may soon give the West Coast some stiff competition. He joins us live with a look at this technological advance in the Big Apple. Derek. Well, Logan, for, many, for years, for many years, we've heard of Silicon Valley being in the San Francisco area of California. That's been home to Facebook and Twitter and Google. Well, now the trend is towards smaller startup companies, and many of them are getting their start right here in New York City. The hustle and bustle of New York City is now busier than ever, thanks to companies like Motivo and Unifor in the city's 23rd Street Flatiron District Partnership, creating the new Silicon Valley of the East. It's booming. It's definitely booming. It's also, I see a lot of people moving from the Silicon Valley to New York. Daniel Jonas is a technology entrepreneur who designs baseball hats like the one he's wearing, selling them online. He says finding investors in New York versus California has been easier. Investors really like to live in New York and work in the Silicon Valley. They don't live in the Silicon Valley, so it's always easier to approach them here. It's like, oh yeah, you know what, I'm living on 5th Avenue, 22nd Street. Let's just grab a cup of coffee. But what's really driving the dot-com industry in New York? Experts say it's the larger talent pool in the city of 8 million people who are largely technologically savvy, though that doesn't mean everyone. I mean, my job is totally analog. I'm a hairdresser, so this is like how I text people, email, but I'm, you know, to ask me about software, I have no idea. And that's the problem, says Jeremy Levine of Bessemer Venture Partners. His company invests in New York City startups and says it could take years for the industry here to catch up to California. I live in New York. I love New York. I'd love to find more great companies in New York. And the rate of growth of interesting opportunities in New York is much higher. Okay. But the numbers are so much smaller that it will take a very long time for it to catch up. But that doesn't mean New York isn't trying. Ruben Petty works for Verizon, which has been tapped by the city to help New Yorkers live better technologically. Absolutely. I mean, I think a big thing right now is the Smart City Initiative, uh, which is sort of like um, creating higher efficiency using technology for a lot of the different jobs in New York City. He and others say move over California. New York City is fast becoming the new Silicon Valley for all things high tech. And the high tech industry is so important to New York City that the city has created an agency, the New York City Economic Development Corporation, whose mission is to drive economic growth, particularly high tech growth, for the city, creating jobs, infrastructure, and opportunities for New Yorkers to thrive. Reporting live in New York City, I'm Derek Dennis for Ebru News. Logan, back to you. All right, Derek, thank you so much for that report.